Hey guys, Brett Kelly here, R&D engineer here at 45 Drives, and this is part two of the conversation between uh, me and our senior marketer, Chris McGean. Um, this video is more of a, a bit of a technical overview of how unrated VMs allow the Storinator storage workstation to operate, and it shows off how easy to use and a little bit of the user interface of Unraid. Uh, hope you guys enjoy, and as always, afterwards, questions, comments, drop them below, or email us at info 45 drives Thanks. So, so after speaking to you with what's, you know, what's in the machine and how it operates, I think you know, I'm lucky because I have an R&D team that I work with, so any troubleshooting that I get into, uh, you know, I always have you guys rely mm -hmm. on, and not everyone is that lucky. So you know, when it comes to the storing at a workstation, how it operates, uh, you know, and, and VMs sound so complicated to the outside user, uh, you know, for, for any video producer that's using it, like how hard is this thing going to be to set up? How hard is it going to be to operate? Like, you know, could you kind of like just give us a rundown on, on, on that? Yeah, no, that's a great question because honestly, you're not wrong. VMs are a little complicated, but uh, luckily, we're really, it's built off a wonderful piece of software called Unraid operating system and that's really what's the engine behind all this thing that's what's running it um, the guys at Unraid really made the VM support just easy just and that's it's just easy that's the best way to think about it it's just kind of plug and play click some buttons on their UI um, so we can just kind of hop on the user interface here it's just a web-based interface and I've already got one set up so but I can kind of just run you through what I did to set it up and just show you you, you I find you'll probably be surprised to go huh that's all it is yeah yeah, yeah and then, it, it sounds scarier than it actually is. So yeah, I, yeah that'd, be, that'd be cool if you just And some, like you said, up. you do. You've got our R&D team. You're one of the luckier guys. You got, yeah. You've got a development team building products for you, yeah. right? But uh, we have our service department as well that's, that wants to help everyone out there too. So like Unraid and VMs are kind of as complicated as like you say you want to go and do it yourself. They make it really easy. Yeah. But if you just say, no, 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 I don't have time, mm -hmm. give us a call. Well, we'd love to help you. Yeah. Yeah, so why don't you just give us a run through on kind of like what the UI looks like and, and all the, the stuff on the inside. It's just, it kind of get that spookiness out of the way, right? Because yes. it's probably not as as complicated as it sounds. Like gotcha. once you get your hands on it, it's kind of probably run through. Cool, we'll pull the top off it too and I'll just yeah. show you what the parts are doing yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, and yeah. let's do awesome, that. Man. Let's okay, do it. cool. Uh, okay, yeah, so let's uh, let's take a look at the Unraid uh, UI. So I'll just pop her up here. Huh? I'm already logged in, so this is the dashboard, yep. right? So okay. like when you come in, this is what it looks like. I've already got a Windows VM set up, obviously, yep. we're using it. That's right. Um, but really what you can see is it says if your disks are active, their temperature, smart status, the health of yep. it, all that fun your stuff. Your usual right? dashboard stuff. Yeah, right? Yep. So like you can pretty much take one glance at here and you see a bunch of green lights, you laugh. Yep. You're good to go. Okay, so the other, I could go on for hours here about this user interface. There's, there's so much to do. It's it's such a perfect blend of there's so many options, but it is so intuitive at the same time. Yep. But but uh, that, that's for another video. For sure. So just like the main screen, so I've already built my uh, my hard drive spinners or sorry <laughs> my hard drive array, yep. and then I've got my SSD cache layer. And this is the hot and cold tier that we were talking about. Okay. So like your VMs and stuff all live on this tier yep. always. We set it so that your virtual machines are always working off of here. And uh, so the idea is like all data will kind of get ingested onto here and then it'll get moved into the slower spinners after. Okay. Um, and it's really as simple as, obviously I've got this one set up already, but when you get to this screen, you've just got a drop down list mm -hmm. and you just pick the drives. Okay. Pick your drives and your slots and yeah. that's it. Um, and then you'd go down here and hit start. And there's a couple other options, but yep. it's pretty simple, right? And then the other thing I wanted to show you was just the VM screen. And because you asked, you said VMs seem scary. Yep. VMs are scary, but this is where Unraid really shines, where they just make, they take all the uh, the, the scariness out of it. Yeah. So, um, okay, I got one set up already, but we'll just, we'll pretend like we're gonna do one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these are all their templates. Now these aren't, like, this doesn't mean that you just click this, it's already, it requires you to have your own Windows installer and legal key to register it, or CentOS, the same thing. Any of these Linux distributions, you have distributions, you have to have your own ISO, but mm -hmm. you can just, this is where they kind of uh, put the curtain over all the scary backend stuff. You just have to I'll know show what you. you want. Yeah. yeah. So it's as simple as this, right? You just pick your CPUs, how much memory you want to use, RAM, select. So here I've got the Windows ISO already, mm -hmm. right? And then, so for anyone who's tried this before, and the, the magic that makes this all work, the GPU pass through of giving the the virtual machine full control over the graphics card in mm -hmm. there. It's hard to set up. Yeah. With Unraid, it's as simple as 
that. Just crop down, choose. Boom, yep. done. We're, we're, we're done. That's it. We'll just, we could hit create <laughs> and it would start. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. I spent, I s tried to set up my own, like my own flavor of this yeah. one weekend and I just, I gave up. I was, anno I was annoyed, right? Yeah. And then I used Unraid here and I was like, I'm never going back. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. And then here, like USB pass through and then sound card. So where this is a VM and those are physical things in there, yep. like the physical components, we pass them through. Okay. So like this, by giving it this sound card here, that's what makes the sound work. Uh, so this is what you're hearing right now. That's because we gave the VM the sound card. That's right. S same idea as the GPU, right? But that's the whole point. You just, just pick from the list. Wow. And then USB devices. Um, so obviously I'm not going to create it right now, but I already have one. And, and then, so it's pretty simple that way. Yep. As always, there's always an advanced mode for That's right, the yeah. advanced users. Yeah. Usually don't have to go in there. And then this is my favorite part. Unsure what every option is, very deep verbose description of everything. Of what it is. Okay. Yeah, so like you'll feel comfortable enough as a non server guy mm -hmm. to hop on here, set this all up for yourself. Yeah. And if you don't, they've got their great forum and community, yep. just their users and the creators have put up so much content yep. to help you. And then of course you've got us, 45 Drive support, where right. we'd love to help you as well. Yeah, so. so any question that's not answered through the UI here, go on the forum, ask questions, there's always something to give you an answer. Or you can come straight to us. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So again, I could go on for hours in here about all the awesome stuff. Um, actually, that's kind of a video in itself. We'll, we'll do a couple of just like, strict technically take it through here we just set one up yeah. from scratch this is how you get it looking pretty like exactly this. no that's a very good idea yeah so uh so that's that we'll 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 we'll, we'll call it here but um let's yeah. uh let's pull the top off it and i'll show you, you have the, a look uh, what's inside yeah awesome okay all right so let's uh take the top off this guy so this is it so you've got your your cpu your graphics card uh sound card and our hard drive controller so these two are real the magic of making this happen this is the pass through that kind of makes it the workstation this hba controller is what connects the hard drives and makes it the server part um but you guys have seen the inside of a computer before uh you might notice we've got a little extra real estate here that's um for you crazy dreamers out there who want to go bigger than we like to dream and um just throw a bigger board in there more graphics cards you got a crazy idea We've got room for you. So uh, now I'll just pop the front off. So this is, for those who've seen a Storinator before, kind of similar. What you might be catching your eye is this new SSD bank. So these, I've got my high density WD drives in here. Um, this, is the, this is the new bank right here and then the SSDs pop in. I don't want to pull one out because we're running with it right now. But uh, yeah, these, these HP SSDs I'm using, you can, uh, you can buy these directly from us as well, as well as the uh, uh, WD hard drives and the graphics card as well. So really you can just one-stop shop this thing and uh, we're just really excited to get it out there See what people can do with it All right, so that's a little bit of a look at the uh, Unraid UI and just kind of a bit of a technical overview of the Story Native Storage Workstation Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, if you got any questions comments leave them in the comment box below or email us at info 45 drives. Love to hear from you